Today we're going to talk about the difference between comics and cartoons and we're going to have a little bit of fun too. Hello there, my name is Philip and welcome to Totally Amazing. Today we're going to be doing something a little bit different. We're going to be doing a little bit of colouring, but not just any colouring. I've done something really special for you guys. I've actually drawn a picture for you guys. This is the main character, William the Light World, from my comic, Antispire. So you should be able to find a link in the description for you to actually print this out and you can do a bit of colouring at your leisure as well. How cool is that, huh? So for my colouring today, I'm going to be actually using my Ahoo colouring markers. Uh, they're fantastic, guys. They've got like, one end is a fine tip, and the other is a brush. I love the brush. The brush is just, oh, it's just beautiful. I love the brush. And they also come with these cool little things. They come with um, this little swatch pad. So you can actually go through and find like, they've got the, the name on the top, well, the number on the top, and you find the number, you color it, so you can actually see what the color actually looks like. It's fantastic. It's, it's a lot of fun, actually. And they actually come with these cool little plastic slip things. These are great, because you put them underneath your artwork and the ink doesn't go through. These markers, they're great. And Ahuhu are actually more on the affordable range. If uh, price is an issue, um, I highly recommend checking out the Ahuhu range. Ahuhu, you get to say that as well. Ahuhu. Hot tip, when you're using a marker, texture, whatever it is, make sure you put something underneath your artwork because the ink will go through. You go onto your table or the paper underneath. So you want to protect it. So make sure you have something underneath. Oh, and if you're using these two, Make sure you wipe them before you move them to a different part of your picture. I learned that one the hard way. <laughs> and hot tip number two, always test your markers, textures, whatever you're going to be using before you start committing them to your actual final image because uh, the, the lid is never the same color as the actual ink inside. Why is this? Because uh, the pigment used to make the plastic, which these containers are plastic, is different to the pigment used to make the ink inside. So you never quite get exactly what you're sort of looking at, so always test them. Plus, textures, inks, markers, all these sort of things, they all react differently to different types of paper. So it's a good idea to find the same type of paper and test your marker on there, which is what I've done here. I've gone through and used the, uh, the markers that I want to use and I've written down each number for the texture so I know which one it is, which color represents what. So that'll come in hand. So bear that in mind, guys. If you're going to be using your textures, markers, whatever, always test it first because it'll really save you in the long run and come in handy. So I hope that's a good hot tip for you. So let's start having a look at the differences between our comic and cartoon style images of William the Light Wheel. So what I've done is I've drawn William here in the same pose, but one is the comic style and the other is the cartoon style. And already we can see some dramatic differences. The comic one is a lot more detailed and realistic, whereas our cartoon version is a lot simpler and more stylized. You can still see that it's the same character, but you can also clearly see which one is the comic and which one is the cartoon. So why are they different? Well, let's start coloring and I'll explain as we go. When coloring, you want to start with the lighter color first. You can always make a color darker, but it's harder to make a color lighter. With William here, his coloring is mostly red, blue, and yellow. See, in my comic Antispire, William uses what's called holy magic, which is what the yellow is for. And there are different styles of magic, and each one has a different color associated to it. So if you want to learn more, there's a link down in the description. Go and check out the comic Antispire. It'll explain so much more about the different styles of magic. It's really interesting, actually. You'll notice in the comic version, I'm adding a few little highlights to the costume, as if the glow of the sword is shining on the costume. I'm not going to be doing that on the cartoon version, though, because that needs to be a lot more simpler. So with the red, I'm going to be using a lot more red tones for the comic version. For example, the tablet on the chest is actually a lighter tone of red than the sleeves on the arms. And the cape will be even darker still, which, whereas in the cartoon version, you'll notice I'm sticking to very basic color tones or flat colors. There is very minimal shading at all and virtually no highlights. The only parts that are going to get highlights are the bits in metal. You'll notice this a lot with the chest. There are a lot more folds and definition on the comic. Whereas in the cartoon version, it's basically just one red and there'll be a little bit of shadow later on, which you'll see soon. So for William the Light Wheel here, we're going to be following what's called the 60-30-10 rule. The 60-30-10 rule refers to how much of the color is actually present in your character. So 60% of the character is one color, and in this case for William, it's red. 30% is another color, which will be blue. And finally, 10% will be another color, which in this case is yellow. And yes, there may be other colors involved, like skin color and hair color, but the basic color scheme works around the idea of 60-30-10. You'll also notice that I didn't color the arms in red on the cartoon version. That's because in the cartoon version, I'm going to have to make the arms blue. See, in the comic version, I made the arms red. Basically, I thought that it'd be more interesting, uh, it'd be easier to cosplay, and look, my favorite color is red, right? That's why I chose red. I like red. But for cartoons, the color needs to be more simple and clear. That way, when the character is moving, keyword there, moving, you can clearly see what part is moving and where. So with the color set up in this way, like blue for the arms, less time is needed to show things like definition, shading, lighting, 
all that sort of stuff for cartoons. You can just use a simple color to do the work for you. So in the case of William here, if we see blue moving, you know that it's either the arm or the leg and it makes it easier for the audience to understand. So why do this? Why not make cartoons as detailed as comics? The main reason is time. You see in comics, you only have one panel or picture to move the story along to the next panel. So on average, you have about six panels per page and you have roughly about 24 pages per comic. So William here is the main character of my comic, Antispire. So let's just say for argument's sake, he's in every panel of a 24 page comic. That means six panels per page, 24 pages. That means Will would have to be drawn 144 times just for one comic. That's a lot of drawing, isn't it? Compared to cartoons though, not even close. You see, cartoons work by showing a lot of images one after the other really quickly. This gives the illusion of movement. So here, 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 looks like that. So how many images do we need to draw? Well, on average, you're looking at about 24 frames per second. That's per second. Yes, there are ways to cheat. You can have the mouth moving or you can have the character moving sideways without actually having the character moving at all. But that's a whole other video. That aside, there still has to be lots of images drawn. So your average cartoon runs for about 24 minutes. So imagine one episode of Antispire. Oh, just imagine it. How great would it be? Oh. So let's say William is in every scene. So 24 frames per second, 60 seconds per minute, and 24 minutes per episode, including credits and all that sort of stuff. That's 34,560 images. And that's just one episode. And that's just one character. You've got to draw in all the other characters as well. Could you imagine trying to line up all the shading, the lighting, the color tone, the wind, the, the glowing effects, the movement for 34,560 images, one after the other. And that's only one episode. That's why cartoons have to be done the way they are with a lot less detail. Otherwise, you just wouldn't have cartoons. And I don't want to live in a world that doesn't have cartoons. So now you can see why comics and cartoons have to have the differences that they have. So comics, they're high detail, they're a single static image, realistic form, they've got more time, well, comparatively, and more color choices. The color can be affected by environments such as lighting or if, if you're in a cave, that, that sort of thing. Whereas in a cartoon, the image is usually more stylized. There's multiple moving images, there's a simpler form, less time is taken per image, and there's clear color choices. So if something's blue, it stays blue. So there you have it guys, the main difference between comics and cartoons. So is one better than the other? Well, that's not really a fair question. They both do what they need to do and they do it really well. And that way we get to enjoy comics and cartoons. And that's what's really important, really. So I hope you found that interesting and you had a bit of fun coloring in William the Light Will from my comic, Antispire. Get your copy in the links in the description. So if you found today's comparison video interesting, leave a comment down below and we'll be sure to do more comparison videos in the future. And if you liked today's episode, remember to like, subscribe and ring that bell button so you can get notified as soon as the next exciting episode of Tully Art Amazing comes out. Other than that guys, thank you for watching and I'll catch you next time. Bye for now. William the Light Will, yeah. Today we're gonna be doing... So for coloring... So I... It went through. <laughs> Make sure you wipe them. Uh -hoo -hoo. <laughs> so there you have it, guys. The main difference between cart... That's, that's comic. That's not cartoon. Antispire. Oh, imagine having a cartoon of Antispire. Or even a live action version. How good would that be? With me as the star. Yeah.